Welcome to Julian's Magician School. My name's Julian. This is part three of the No Sweat All Fun Mini Magic Card Course. This is the perfect course for those people who have no card handling skills whatsoever. And it's okay if you don't because we are all good at different things. So I'm going to teach you a force. Now that is a way to make someone take a card that you want them to take. And this is perfect. You need no skills whatsoever. But it's really effective. Uh, so I'm going to pretend I've got a volunteer. Uh, welcome, thanks for coming along. I'd like to do a trick with you um, where I'm going to try and find your card. So uh, if you would, would you please take the dice? Now this is going to be the mystery of the dice. And please roll the dice and see what number you get. Whoa, number five. So one, two, three, four, five. Would you look at that card and remember it? And this is the card they look at. And it is a completely random card again. All right. So here's how you make them take the card that you want. Your card that you want them to do, uh, to choose, goes on top of the deck. Introduce your trick, what you're doing, have the dice sitting there, and as you're talking to them, put four piles of cards on the table. The top pile you cut off that has your card on the top, it goes in number three position. So if you were thinking like you're reading a book from left to right, you had four piles, one, two, three, four, it goes in the number three position. Now, as you're talking to them, put the other cards down, don't make any reference to it, just make sure that ends up in the third position and ask them to take up the dice because we're going to do the mystery of the dice. So as we were saying before, what you have to do is divide it into four piles. Now we'll make it A, B, C and D and remember, think of it uh, like reading a book, that you start from the left of the page and you move to the right. So uh, this will be pile one, two, three and four, but we'll call them A, B, C and D. You'll get the hang of this here. The card we want to force is on the top. There's our completely random card. We know it's got the big X on there. So as you're talking to them, you put down the top pile in the number three or the number C position here. Then the others, you just put down. And a good little tip too is when you put the last two down, don't do that. Just separate them and put them down at the same time and go straight on to explaining now, the dice. Here's why you call it the mystery of the dice because this will work with all numbers except number one and number four. So if you roll a number one and a number four, this will not work except we've got that covered. So if you get a number two, you count from this side over here and just go one, two, and that's the card they get. If you get a three, you start from this end over here and count one, two, three, they get the card here. If you get a five, you count from this end over here and go one, two, three, four, five. They end up on that one. If you get a six, you start from this end as well and go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you double count that pile there. But if you do it quickly, one, two, three, four, five, six, and show them that card. That's if you fine. roll a number one and a number four, well, number one, you say, well, you remember, this is the mystery of the dice. We must take the hidden number. So you turn the dice over and use the number on the other side. Now, remember, if you get a one, what we have to do is turn it over to the hidden number. That's a six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you get a four, we turn it over to the hidden number and that's three, one, two, three, and that's how to do it. It's that easy. So now you've learnt that force, use it and go to video number 25 at Julian's Magician School at www.birthdaypartymagician.com and it's called the Prediction Wand. This is a perfect follow-up to go with that card force and again, needs no skill whatsoever. So remember, if I can do it, you can do it.